This lesson is going to introduce you now to the passive voice. Uh, we're going to start with the present passive, uh, and we're going to stay in the indicative. But what I mean by passive voice is we're going to shift. We've been speaking only in the active voice so far. So far. And by active voice, we're talking about verbs. And these are verbs in which the subject does the action. Now, so in, in the sentence, uh, ago, I am leading, or I lead. Right? Ago is a perfectly good sentence all by itself. So the active voice, I'm doing the subject. Now, if we want to switch to the passive voice, we're going to switch that. That is, I am being led. So uh, we're going to switch now. The subject is the recipient of the action. The subject is what used to be the direct object. I'm leading the army. Uh, so we could add that. Now, if we switch this to the passive, the army is being led by me. And we'll talk about the by me later. So the passive voice, present tense, uh, very easy to form. We're going to use the present stem. That's the first principal part. Present stem plus passive endings. That's all there is to it. All right, we're switching from our regular OSA, omen et usin, to a new set of endings. So what are those endings? We call these the primary, primary meaning re relating to the present tense, medio-passive endings. And the reason we use this term, medio-passive, is that it's both passive and also middle. When we get the middle voice, uh, we'll be using the same endings for the present. Uh, middle. So what are these endings? They are omai, essay, which then contracts. This you Notice there's an interval calendar. Well, well st take a step back. The endings are actually mai, sai, tai, metha, sthe, untai. But we're going to add on to there, we're going to have what's called a theme vowel. And this theme vowel is either omicron or epsilon. Omicron before mu's and news, epsilon before everything else. So really the ending, the full ending you're going to see is omai, essay, si, which then contracts when the interval calic sigma falls out to a or the later a. This one's later, this one more common. Etai, omatha, estha, ontai. So omai, a etai omata esta ontai. And now to, contr to, to conjugate in the present passive, we're just going to add these right onto our present stem. So remember of luo, the stem is lu without the omega. And so to conjugate, luomai, lue, or lue, luetai, luomata, luesta, luontai. Oh, that should be. Luomai. So remember those endings going back just a step. Mai, sai, tai, metha, sthe, untai. We've got our, um, we're going to add our theme vowels and we get it fully conjugated there. So go ahead and practice these with, with just about any verb you run into. Uh, it's not too hard, but it takes some memorization of those new endings.